What's up guys? Hey, it's your boy Paul and I am back with you with another Ride Out Reviews. And this time, we're going to talk about that cool movie, The Gentleman. Boy, that movie is tight. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all why. So, let's get into it. So, The Gentleman is directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Michelle Dockery, Jeremy Strong, Lynn Renee, Colin Farrell, Henry Golding, Tom Wu, Chidav Ajui, Hugh Grant, Charlie Hunnam, Eddie Marson, and Jason Wang. It has got a stunning all-star cast. So the gentleman is about a British drug lord who's trying to sell off his business and go quietly into the night in retirement. However, during the business sale, some crazy stuff goes on and starts to rethink his process in the game and what he should do about it. So this movie is dope. Just like I said, man, as soon as I got to it, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit weary because it kind of started off hard to understand. But as soon as it started getting into the story, I was down. Boy, I tell you what, this movie was so funny, so smart. And the way they shot it, how they had the story being told in the past, they would go back and explain it through visuals. And then they took those visuals and made those visuals part of the storytelling atmosphere. It was like at one time they were watching a video and the two people that were discussing what's going on or what the trap was or whatever were speaking for the guys that were actually in the video. Dude, it was so funny. Just I don't know, it was outrageous, but it was so action-packed, so much going on, fights, gunshots, just some weird things. Also, just the way that they told the story between the uh, the two characters that were having the discourse, man, it was great. They were would take a, a talk about something, he would make him do something in order for him to go look at something because he was saying he knew what happened to whatever they were doing when they were doing it. Dude, great movie did i mention it was funny man they had jokes the way they talked the way they acted great acting all around by everybody colin uh farrell and dude so good there was a scene with him man he just i he just he just took it dude he took the star they also had some bad songs in this show too a rap song called bush Ooh, man, they were hard. A fight scene that was so tight with them in it, man, and how they shot the video and went along uh, with the, the fighting and the shooting and the uh, uh, of the video and how they put it on the net, man. Oh, man. Insane. This movie was good. Man, I like the visuals, too. The way they like showed some of the stuff. It even went in the first person in some of the characters to let you be like engulfed or a part of what was going on. <laughs> hey, and these goods, man, I'm telling you what, they were smart as well. So they weren't just gangsters. They were businessmen. And so I, I thought that was really great how they did all that. Even talked a little bit about drugs and the use of it in this movie. And I thought, man, he's so right. Just the demonizing. So in a way, how they were glorifying everything, they started showing the evilness of the drug game. So I thought that was a great way to it was so good, man. Good movie. Is there any bads in this movie? Man, I can't think of them right now, except maybe, like I said earlier, how they were demonizing the drugs like heroin, cocaine, and all these things. But weed, they still was like, ah, oh, it's all good, you know? So if there was a bad, I would only say that uh, it, it never talked down about marijuana, but only good. So I think in that manner, you know, it should have showed how marijuana, though people think it's okay, it still has some ill effects that can happen to people let's go to my rating man i think this movie is a 4.5 out of 5 r's like i said man there was nothing that uh, uh disappointed me about this movie when i watched it on the trailer and saw it i was like yeah that's gonna be dope that's gonna be like a british uh a gangster funny comedy movie you know guy richie be doing that stuff all the time that's how he got got in the game i think he had a uh uh, snatch that was so funny too and this kind of it didn't feel like that but it, it has that funniness that that uh, storytelling and that um just that raw uh, uh craziness and action in it so yeah great so great is it redeemable so like i said earlier it does talk about how these other drugs kill people they hurt people they destroy people uh it also just has a an awesome scene of uh, of a person 
who cares about uh, people that are on the streets and uh, tries to get them out and do well for them to grow them in their lives. And so that was awesome. Uh, but uh, I think that this movie could have, uh, uh, you know, dealt with a little less of the, the, the C word over and over and over. But I think above that, man, I think that you can watch it and get something out of it. It's actually pretty good and pretty decent. So I'm going to say it's redeemable. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you want to give it a thumbs up. And if you do, man, hey, thank you. That's tight. That's tight. Uh, also, um, check out some of the other videos we got on the channel. And if you're new here, we do videos uh, on movie reviews, trailer reactions, the TV reviews, a Christian perspective. So go check those out, man. See if, you, see if you like those. And if you like anything else like that, go on and hit that subscribe button as well as hit that bell. That way you get notified when we get our videos and stuff. So, hey, I appreciate you guys for watching, man. It's, it's awesome to be able to... Uh, get to do these videos and reviews for you guys man check this one out though gentlemen yeah it's a bomb check it out check it out all right guys uh take it easy have a good week keep watching movies mm -hmm.